What's up everybody? This is Matt with Survivalist 2012. I'm just going to show you guys my uh, water sanitation device. Um, now, I do have um, two Ziploc containers here. This is, would be a three cup zip, Ziploc container and this would be a one cup Ziploc container. And basically what I did is I took the three cup with the screw on lid and I just cut out the top all the way around. And this is a one cup Ziploc container um, that has the uh, kind of snap on top. Um, don't get the one with the uh, screw on top, they don't fit together. So um, basically what I'm going to do is show you guys what I have uh, in this kit right here. Um, I've decided this is not for cooking, this is just going to be for water sanitation purposes. So this is just for boiling water. So basically uh, what I got in here guys, and here's the ring in case you guys wanted to see it. I just uh, cut out the flat part and the ring and this bowl fit perfectly inside of it so they both attach together so that's that part um, here is my uh, monster train geo stove I'll go ahead and get that going here in a minute here's the three cup ziplock container now uh, this is my train treat my train geo slash hiney pot setup um, this is the Heine pot. I'll go ahead and show you guys the contents inside. Here's the lid right there. Now inside I do have just a simple windscreen made out of aluminum foil. It's rolled up. We have our thermometer that goes in the lid. And then two bottles of denatured alcohol. Now this is uh, 2.5 fluid ounces so there's five ounces of denatured alcohol here. Also inside we keep a, a box of Strike Anywhere matches. Sorry about the wind guys it's kinda windy today. Got my uh, snuff cap here. The Trangia stove. And then inside I have my homemade pot stand and this is just made out of uh, coat hangers and uh, bread ties and those little twisty ties so basically all I do here guys is move all this to the side take my pot stand here I unfold it Put it around the, the Trangia stove here. I'll take uh, probably about half of the container of denatured alcohol. And I'll load up the uh, Trangia stove. That's about half. I'll go ahead and get this uh, the stove started. We'll wait for a bloom here, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I'm just going to show you the uh, the windscreen here. All it is is rolled up aluminum foil. And because it's so windy today, I'm going to have to uh, set this around the Trangia stove right here because it keeps blowing out from the wind. We'll get another match here and light it back up. Okay, we got that going. We'll go ahead and uh, load the water in our Heineken pot. Uh, I'm just using bottled water, but um, naturally I'd probably be using creek water. River water, what have you. 
go ahead and throw this on top of the pot stand here. Wrap it up with our windscreen. Load on our lid and our thermometer here. And generally takes about five minutes, so we'll be back as soon as we get a boil. Be right back. Alright guys, we are back. We're about at 212 degrees here. It's only been about four minutes. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys this one more time. This is all put together. It's pretty nice and tight. I mean, it. this thing is amazing. And I got shown uh, how to make this by a guy who did a video response on my last uh, Trangia pot. Um, my Trangia stove um, Heineken pot video that, ma that I made, the last one. So uh, I thought that was a pretty good idea. So uh, I went out and bought the uh, the things to make to make it, and there we go. But it uh, looks like we are uh, at 212. Let's see if we can zoom in there. We sure are. What I'll do is we'll uh, take this off, and our water is a roaring. And this thing is an awesome little device, guys. The most expensive part on this stove was this uh, thermometer here. And everything else is homemade. Pot stand, windscreen, uh, the Heine pot, the Trangia stove, um, the Ziploc container. All I did was uh, I went and bought uh, two little uh, travel size bottles for your, your shampoo or whatnot to st store my... Uh, uh, denatured alcohol in and all this stuff uh, fits together pretty nicely and uh, it's very lightweight to put in your pack now when I do my cooking I'll be doing that out of my uh, canteen cup it's what I've done for a long time I'm used to cooking out of my canteen cup uh, still gonna do that but this would be more of a device that I would use uh, on the run I should say if I needed to boil some water real quick to fill my canteen up um, bust this out it takes maybe at the most seven eight minutes and you got yourself some boiled water put it right back in your canteen um, you could also do this with snow if you're out in the snow you could uh, take a handful of snow and, and pile it in that little hiney pot and just keep piling it in until you get enough uh, water that you need to fill up your canteen cup so I just wanted to show you guys this I'll have a another video coming out tonight as well showing you guys some emergency drinking water which I thought I thought was pretty cool but um it's basically it guys if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment this is Matt with survivalist 2012 signing off